Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to apply Hashcode Safe Strap to the latest version of Android for the Galaxy S4. That's right, we now have recovery on ME7 thanks to Hashcode and his awesome Safe Strap. So if you guys are not familiar with Safe Strap, basically what Safe Strap does is it allows you to dual boot into <clears throat> a safe ROM and an unsafe ROM. So your unsafe ROM would be like your stock ROM, uh, whatever stock touch wiz you have on your device. Uh, maybe the ROM that the phone came with and then the safe system is the bootloader bypass. So we don't need an unlocked bootloader with safe strap. Basically we get to install a ROM uh, which operates on what is called the safe system. So we can install any custom ROM on that safe system and it allows us to do so without a traditional custom recovery which requires our bootloader to be unlocked. So big shout out to Hashcode for this awesome development. Uh, the installation is super simple. All you have to do is head to his thread here. I'll include a link in the description and you'll install the application, the SafeStrap application. So uh, basically you'll download that, head into your file manager, uh, go into your download folder, find the SafeStrap file, and install it. So you'll need to make sure that you do uh, check the unknown sources box in your settings so that this will install. We'll go ahead and install this. Uh, one, one thing that you will need is you'll need to be rooted. I'll be sure to include a link in the description on how to root the latest version of uh, Android on the Samsung Galaxy S4 from Verizon. We'll go ahead and open SafeStrap. We'll grant super user and we will install recovery. So this takes just a few seconds and then uh, we should be able to hit the reboot into recovery and that's going to take us into safe strap. So real quickly, as soon as it reboots, I will kind of walk you through safe strap. Uh, it's really simple. It's very intuitive and easy to use. You should be able to just open up safe strap and use it. Um, it's just pretty much like team win recovery project except for it operates on a dual boot system. So you've got your, like I said, your unsafe ROM system or your stock ROM system and then your safe ROM system. But okay, so you'll notice here uh, up top it says ROM slot is stock. So we're not in our safe system. Uh, the safe system is where we can actually flash ROMs. The slot that's labeled stock is really where we need to be running just our standard touch whiz. ROM. Now this works on ME7, but it also works on previous versions that include the Loki bootloader. I'm actually running Hyperdrive in my stock ROM slot because I'm not on ME7. Uh, but if you're on ME7, then obviously you're going to be on the stock TouchWiz ROM. And that's what that's for. So you have uh, all your options here, backup, restore, and mount. You'll definitely want to do a backup real quick before you do anything. So you'll hit the backup button. And then you will swipe to backup. This is going to take several minutes because it is backing up your entire system. As soon as it finishes, we will uh, move forward. So with these backups, I should mention, uh, whenever you're backing up your stock system, you can only flash, uh, or you can, you can flash the stock system under the stock slot, or you can flash that under a custom ROM slot. However, you cannot flash a custom ROM backup to your stock slot. That would result in a brick. It's worth mentioning. It should be pretty obvious but like I said uh, anything that could cause a break we definitely want to mention okay so now that that backup is complete we can continue um, you may have noticed here on this screen the install button is red the install feature in the stock ROM slot is disabled for now it will be enabled in later builds okay so to install a custom ROM we would go into boot options and then we can create one of four ROM slots. So this is pretty cool. If you've got lots of memory on your phone, you can actually create four ROM slots uh, where you could have four different custom ROMs installed to your phone at once, and you could easily flash between them. So I could run Hyperdrive on slot one. I could run Eclipse on slot two, Cyanogemon on slot three, and I could set those up exactly how I wanted them. And depending on what mood I'm in, I could run any of those ROMs at any time. Or I could just simply go back to my stock ROM. So that's really the beauty of SafeStrap is that it is a multi-boot system and it doesn't require a, an unlocked bootloader, which is pretty sweet. So we'll go ahead and select ROM slot one. You'll choose your data partition size. I'm gonna go with one gigabyte because I'm kind of limited on memory with my 16 gigabyte S4. And we'll go ahead and create the ROM slot. As soon as this is finished, we could go ahead and install a ROM. 
Okay, so it took about five minutes to create that ROM slot. Now we have that ROM slot highlighted. This would be our safe system. And you can see up here it says ROM slot, ROM slot one. So we'll go back and now we can do uh, any of our regular team win recovery uh, options from here, including install. So we can now install a custom ROM. Um, you guys know how to install a ROM. I don't have to show you how to do that. You would just go to install and then you would choose your file from the download folder in your SD card and you would go ahead and flash that and that would be what shows up on that stock I'm sorry that would be what shows up on that custom ROM slot uh, whenever you boot up your phone you would be in that ROM and then of course if you wanted to go back to your stock TouchWiz ROM you would just go into boot options and go into stock ROM and activate and now you're in your stock ROM so now if we reboot that is what we will boot into so anyways guys that has been the tutorial on safe strap for the Galaxy S4 that works on ME7 and it does not require an unlocked bootloader. You can now continue to flash ROMs on your Verizon Galaxy S4. Big shout outs to Hashcode for getting this together. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the near future. Thanks again for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.